So here we are, the end of February, the year 2002. Tomorrow it will be a week since I uploaded the video explaining why I've been absent from YouTube uh, and that I had to go through that whole ridiculous medical surgical roller coaster again. A uh, little less than a week, but I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for the, for the outpouring of nice notes and messages and, and thoughts and prayers. and I, I really appreciate it. What a wonderful community this is. Um, I've, I've always known that I've been a member of the firearms community for for as long as I can remember being alive and the people that I've met are just absolutely exemplary people very kind nice wonderful selfless people and uh, man working with you through YouTube and through social media just shows every day how that hasn't changed if anything the family's grown and uh, thank you very much I just wanted to say thank you anyway for good news for a change, I just started working again a little bit. Not full days, not full time, just a little bit. And I had a couple pieces come across my desk yesterday that I thought were really interesting. And that's kind of what sparked the idea for this video today. So I haven't been cleared for any live fire yet. It's probably going to be another few months before I can do that. Uh, but fortunately, I've got a lot of footage of, of what we're about to discuss. And combined with a question I got from someone this morning, um, a nice, sincere, honest question, um, I thought that it would make a great topic. So I have another excuse or another reason for us to get together again before I'm fit enough to get to the range. The items I had come across my desk yesterday were a couple of the Ares Defense Shrike 556 weapon system upper receivers. And that's the piece that you drop on your lower that allows you to run uh, belt, belted ammunition as well as the normal box or drum magazines. And the question I got this morning is, what's the big deal with the AR-15 anyway? Why do people like it so much? Or do people even like it that much? Is it just the media? Uh, blowing this all up and I explain no it's been the most popular modern sporting rifle for over a decade in the country it absolutely is that popular and then when I started trying to explain why I thought maybe I should explain why with you with the camera because there are a lot of people especially with its newer popularity that even though they're fans of the black rifle or own one or two still might not be aware of how modular this thing really is a few years ago I wrote a book on the AR called the evolution of the black rifle and I guess today is kind of going to be a small video continuation of that this firearm is is the most modular system ever designed it's like a Lego set and and it just never stops evolving there's more and more and more the support industry is just enormous for this thing and the roles an AR can play are infinite when a lot of people that are new to the platform look at it, they see whatever the firearm is in front of them. If it's a 223 carbine, well, it's just that, a 223 carbine. Uh, kind of like you would look at a, you know, a Remington 742 and 30-odd-6. It's not going to be anything else. That's what it is. With the AR platform, when I look at it, I see a never-ending, absolutely infinite selection of what it could be. And I'll explain what I mean. The AR is, is valuable as a firearm, not because it works good for one purpose, but because it actually works for almost every purpose. And I mean that, almost every purpose. There aren't many firearms that you can buy that allow you to, to train a new shooter, you know, with small 22 rimfire ammunition, something fairly quiet, something with, with no recoil, uh, and something that's safe to learn on. And with that same firearm, be able to take a black bear or, or a Maine or Alaskan moose. Uh, but the AR-15 absolutely is that versatile. And even those who are aware of how versatile it is, still might not know exactly how far reaching that really is. And those are some of the things that I would like to go over with you today. Let's start with some of the obvious. We already discussed it, the, the 22 long rifle. With the use of an Atchison 22 long rifle subcaliber kit, uh, or CMMG actually makes one as well. DPMS might also make one. I've seen quite a few of them out there. All that it takes is the installation of this kit with no tools required and you can safely and effectively run 22 long rifle. Uh, ammo that's a little more inexpensive and ammo that is available and both of those things have been pretty important over the last couple of years with this ammo crunch that we've had.
when most people think of the AR, immediately they think of the 223 cartridge or the 5.56 by 45 millimeter uh, NATO cartridge. And that's a great cartridge for plinking, that's a great cartridge for training, it's a great cartridge for practicing. It's fantastic for some small game hunting, and typically it's fairly inexpensive and available in bulk quantities. Okay, right on. We're going to adjust it. Not doing any math, simply bringing the turret to two for 200 and aim dead on there. Easy as that. Let's go to 300. And again, we're going to aim straight on. We don't have to compensate uh, with the reticle. We're just aiming straight on. Beautiful. And let's try 400. We've got some pretty strong winds today which seems to be somewhat the norm, Murphy's Law and all, but we'll give it a try anyway. 400 yards. Don't you love those shoot steel targets? You get that feedback right away. We don't have to run down and look at anything. I paint them with a bright colored paint uh, with a white uh, base under it, with a black base under that, and uh, the, the shots really, really show up, even, even out to 400 with just a nine power skull. Anyway, I'll stop talking and start shooting. Back to 400 yards. Beautiful. Excellent. All right, let's walk it back. 300, 200, 100. And when we're done, we'll be all sighted in for 100 yards again. Perfect. And at 200. And 100. Doesn't take long to get there from only 100 yards out. But when hunting moves from varmint hunting into the big game category, or, or medium game even, typically 30 caliber is the, the bottom go-to. People want a 30 caliber. Well, thanks to that wonderful 300 AAC blackout round, and the uh, available 7.62 by 39 rounds, as well as the parts and support for your AR to also be able to chamber and fire those, um, you've got it. You also have a 30 caliber rifle. And all that's necessary with regards to the 300 blackout is just change the barrel. That's it. That's the only part you have to change. It uses the same lower receiver and lower parts group. It uses the same upper receiver. It uses the same bolt carrier and bolt. Uh, it even uses the same magazine. The round was actually designed to match the 5.56 rifle. All you do is change the barrel, now you have a 30 caliber rifle that's fantastic for hunting. I love it, love it. For people that are getting into hunting some of the much larger game, bear, moose, not a problem. With, with calibers such as 375 uh, SOCOM, 458 SOCOM, 50 Beowulf, 50 Action Express, 50 GI, there are all kinds of options to be able to just pop those two pins between your upper and lower receiver, take your 556 upper off, and, and put a 458 upper or any of those calibers that we just mentioned. So with no tools whatsoever, and most times even utilizing the same magazines again, now you have something capable of safely and ethically harvesting any game animal on the continent of North America. Isn't that awesome? Now that's pretty awesome. You, you have a firearm. You don't have to worry about uh, buyer's remorse by buying something in the wrong caliber and changing interests or having an opportunity to do something else that maybe you didn't envision when you purchased it. You're not stuck with a certain caliber. 
you, you can run an unbelievable number of calibers to take care of everything we just discussed from, from plinking at tin cans for training or practice or learning all the way up to um, you know a 458 SOCOM to, to harvest moose or bear and uh, without any tracking most of the time so it's pretty effective but even even as wide as that is in use it gets even better there are upper receivers that are available that feed shotgun ammunition so if you have a firearm that you would like to take bird hunting no problem your AR can fit that role as well but let's say the hunt that you're going to go on or, or the genre you'd like to participate in is black powder that can't get much further apart than that. You've got black powder and then, you know, way up here with modern sporting rifles. It does fit. There has been at least one company in the past that makes a black powder upper receiver. We've tested it in the past. I don't believe they're being manufactured right now, but I wouldn't bet that it'll be out for good. I think that it's going to come back. For a matter of fact, I'm sure it'll come back eventually. But with this particular one, you have a smoke pole, you've got your same AR, you pop those two pins, you take whatever upper it is you have on it off, you replace it with the muzzle loading upper, and now you have a 50 caliber muzzle loader, again, all with the same familiar platform. And it doesn't end there. If you wanted something belt fed, that's absolutely an option, thanks to the original item being the Ares Defense Shrike 556 weapon system, or the newer version, the Fight Light Industries Mission Configurable Rifle, or MCR. You can run 556 ammo uh, that's been belted for the saw. Uh, you can load your own links. So, in short, that's the reason that the AR-15, the M16, the M4 is the most popular modern sporting rifle today. It can fill any role, it can fit any person, and it can do it safely and effectively with ease. It's very easy to work on. Most of these things that we've discussed don't require the use of any tools whatsoever. And it's that same familiar firearm that you've got with just, in most cases, a different upper receiver on it and you're utilizing exactly the same gun. No buyer's remorse because if you wish you had a different configuration for something new, chances are pretty good that you can take the AR you already have and put it into that configuration. You don't need another entire rifle. Now a lot of these things are discussed in the book, The Evolution of the Black Rifle. To be honest, the book's getting a bit dated. It's, it's time for me to write a second edition. It'll probably necessitate writing a third edition when I finally have the second done because the industry changes so much and there's such a huge support industry out there making other parts for it. But that's something that I'm going to work on. Maybe as I'm healing up here a little bit, that would be a good time to get that project done. So that's, the, that's my short reasoning of why the AR-15 is so popular. It fits everyone and does everything. There's nothing magic about it. And uh, it's just a really nice, well thought out, modular, adaptable weapon system. And it fits every role that we want for it. Anyway, it's so nice to see you. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our shirts that the folks from Bunker Branding are making and shipping. They do a beautiful job on them, and the link will be in the description below the video. If you just like to talk guns, Facebook's probably the best place to do that at facebook.com slash guntestvids. And until next time, have fun and be safe.